Okay, I gotta go Do you want to smell the bait? What's up guys? My name's Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today we are prepping for an epic four day, three night Pulley Ridge fishing trip on the Inky Caps. We're so excited. We have so much prep to do. We are on our way to the tackle store to get some gear that we need. We have to run, get some shrimp. No, not shrimp, squid. We have squid. to get squid. squid. <laughs> I don't know why I said shrimp. We have to get squid for bait. And we're really excited. This is gonna be like camping on a boat. Like I got my sleeping bag already and this is gonna be so much fun. But before we head to the tackle store, we're actually going to the post office. If you look back here, that's, oh, those are some boxes and bags from the shirts and hats and the stickers that you guys have ordered. So we really just wanna say thank you for ordering because believe it or not, it does help a lot, especially because of this quarantine, we can't run charters. So we just wanna say thank you so much. We're actually almost out of stock, but if you want to buy more and go look, it's galeforcefishing.com forward slash shop. And we just wanna say thank you for ordering guys. We've partnered with Connected by Water to get these shirts and we're very excited. So just thank you guys for ordering. There. All right, you'll have to. We're not inside yet, so I'm not close on. We have shirts. We got a sticker order, sticker order, and hat orders. And we have sold over 300 shirts. And we just got our hats out. We're almost sold out already. So it's super cool, super exciting. And it's just so cool that all you people support us. I think it's amazing. We're gonna have to do a restock very, very soon of shirts and hats okay, and everything. That? Oh yeah, I got it. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Can you put my mask on so when I go inside they don't yell at me? Thank you. Wait, can you see? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, All right, let's go. Some of the stuff we got from the tackle store definitely need beads we have some three-way swivels quite a variety of circle hooks 4-0s 6-0s 7-0s and we also got these inline circle hooks as well and 6-0s and 7-0s and of course we're gonna be doing a lot of deep dropping so the last thing you want is to for your cords to go. So backup cords just in case the alligator clips. Plenty of fishing line. There's SpongeBob. Just about getting ready. Okay guys, we are headed out. We already made one friend. There she goes. <laughs> we, made we made a friend. We made a friend. We made a friend. We are on a 90 foot dependent craft with two 1400 horsepower caterpillar engines. There goes Brizzo. Hey Brizzo. Hey Brizzo. Alright, right now we're upstairs guys. This is, I'll show you where we keep our rods. If you look upstairs, there's a bunch of rod holders along the rail. These are our coolers over here. This one's actually empty. It did have some food in it, but I ended up putting it in a different cooler with ice. This is our bait cooler, our brand new Yeti. Hi, Brito. Okay, Do you want to smell that. the bait? <laughs> That's our bait. Our collar says, do not feed. Do not feed. Do not feed. Sorry, Brizzo. You already had your dinner. Hey guys. What's going on? Welcome to the Gale Force Twins YouTube channel. All right. I'm gonna you? sneak past you if you don't mind. All right. This is the gear we brought. This is an accurate slow pitch setup that they were nice enough to lend us. We're so excited to use it. I'm gonna be honest with you. We don't have a ton of experience slow pitch digging, but we're very excited about it. Of course, I brought my pen slammer spinning reel. These are my accurate 400, 500. We brought all the gear we have. Captain Greg's is over here. Thanks for having us, Captain Greg, on the Yankee Caps out of Key 
was. Give him a follow on Facebook and Instagram. We'll have his information pop up for you guys. Here comes Brizzo. There she goes. This is the wheelhouse. This is where Captain Greg does all of his amazing duties by getting us out back here safely to and from Key West, Florida. And look at that view. Can that, can you ever say that's a bad view? Not a bad life. And Brizzo stays up here. I think she already had dinner. Brizzo, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is the wheelhouse, guys. This is what goes on upstairs. This is where Greg makes sure he gets on the spot, finds the fish, and makes sure that everyone on this boat can catch their fish. That's basically the upstairs. It's where Captain Greg drives, where some rod holders are, all the coolers, and Brizzo stays up here. Here, I'll hand this to you. Right. Let's head inside. Okay, bathrooms. Bathroom number one. Bathroom number two. This is the galley over here. Where all the delicious food is going to be cooked. Look, snacks. We got all these amazing snacks. But I have heard, I have heard that the chef makes phenomenal food. Phenomenal food. And tonight he's doing like a shrimp alfredo, but we both kind of like aren't great. We like have some problems with dairy, and he's going out of his way to make us a shrimp scampi and make a dairy free after. He's really good at accommodating if you have any major allergies, so that's like it's the best. We're so appreciative of that. And this is where you eat. This is the booth. Take a, Take seat. a seat. Have your morning coffee or like your midday coffee or your 1 a.m. coffee because we're fishing tonight. We're fishing at 1 a.m. We're starting at 1. We're starting at 1 a.m. And outside is where you do most of your fishing, obviously. Or all your fishing. Most of your fishing. fishing. You can't fish inside, so this is the rail. Rod holder, rod holder, rod holder. You got benches right here. People store their buckets underneath the benches, their coolers, their gear. Make sure they have everything. I hope you guys can hear me okay over the roar of the engines. Let's go. Follow me. We want to make sure nobody's sleeping first, but we're going to take you downstairs, show you the bunks, show you what it really looks like to sleep on the AD caps, guys. It is quite the experience. I think you'll get the best out of your sleep down here. It's nice and cozy, super dark with the engine rumble. I'll do my best with lighting and try to like make sure you guys can see. Come this way. We are. This is the second room, you could say, and there's a bunch of bunk beds over here if you look. Much quieter here. We packed for what would be a boat camping trip. So my bed's right here. Check out. I brought what's his name? Ibis. His name's not Ibis though. Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian the Ibis. I can't remember. I screwed that All up. about the U. All about the U. <laughs> Anyways, so I brought a sheet to put over the mattress. Most people didn't do that, guys. They sanitize the boat. Don't worry. We actually we took. I took a Clorox wipe and I wiped down the walls and everything around my bed and the Clorox wipe was completely clean. Like there wasn't dirt on it, there wasn't dust on it. And this is my sleeping bag right here. And my pillow, I decided to bring my colorful favorite sheets so it felt like home because I didn't know what to expect going into this trip. And I brought my UN blanket also so it would feel like home. And we put our bags down here underneath our bed. That's Emily's polar bear bags because Emily loves polar bears. <laughs> And this is my Vera Bradley Mickey Mouse bag because I love Mickey Mouse. Fun fact. We brought some straw hats for the like days in the sun when the sun's just beating on you. It's really hot outside right now, guys. And Emily's bed. It's gone. Emily got top bunk. She called dibs, but I, I kind of like my bunk. She has a red sleeping bag, a polar bear bag, her identical UN blanket because we're identical twins. <laughs> oh, wait, look at my Yeti. Our aunt and uncle and cousins got us matching Yeti water bottles with a permit on them, and they put our names on them. How awesome is that? I'm like, it was the best birthday present someone could have ever got us. And Emily's pillow's up here. The outlets are right here, which are perfect for charging our camera gear and computers because we brought, let's look, our GoPro box. Where is it? Right here? We did our best to pack light for this trip. We didn't want to overdo it with camera gear but at the same time it's four days of fishing so I didn't want to run out but I clearly like look under our bed there's not necessarily a ton of space nope but here's our camera box these are these are backup GoPros haven't used them in years 
This is the microphone. Um, what's this called? The windscreen. The windscreen. 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 Blanking over here. These are the windscreens we usually use. The nice big ones. And these are the GoPros. We have a GoPro, I think that's the GoPro 8. This is the GoPro Max, which actually does 360 footage. We're still learning it. We it definitely, like editing 360 footage is new to us. And we have taken out and done some test rounds and totally screwed it up. But we are learning the GoPro 360, so we're hoping to get cool content with that. And then if you look in here, this is a chest ski, which we have used that. You've seen us use that in our permit video. This is a head cam, haven't used that yet. And these are our typical, we use the clamp selfie stick. So Take it, it works. Yeah. This is the clamp. So, so like I can clamp it onto anything and it moves, which is like our go-to when you see footage. This is probably what we're using. And I can use it as a selfie stick. So it kind of like puts it into one. Thanks for watching, guys, and being a part of our Yankee Caps boat tour. We are absolutely stoked. We've been on the boat for an hour. <laughs> an hour tops. And honestly, I already feel at home. It's going to be such an exciting experience. I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna do another trip on this boat. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Go ahead and give Yankee Caps a follow, Facebook and Instagram, and make sure you like and subscribe for more.